back again to my channel. You know, it's been a while since I posted a video. You know, life happens. <laughs> but now I'm back, like I'm all set to do and I'm ready to kick off, you know, shooting more videos of you. So guys, today I'll be doing a very quick makeup tutorial and um, it's just to work and relax because you're going to enjoy this look. So first of all, I have nothing in my mind to do with it, so I'm just going to play with my palette and see what I'm going to come up with. So guys, sit back and relax and let's rush into it. So for, I'm going to wipe my face with a random face wipe and I'm going to go it because I just came up from church not long ago, so you know. And I have a very oily skin. My skin, as in, I don't know, it's like I, I ate so much granola, and not all in granola, so I'm going up, so I don't know, so everything just gets to part all over my skin. So I just wipe my face off with these facial wipes. And um, so this is the long, I'll go over my primer. So, guys, this is actually not a primer. Yeah, so this is just a random oil and pore control mattifier I got from Murad and I don't know, this just works perfectly for my skin because it keeps my skin really dry, like I don't get to sweat when I use this and I put on all my makeup. So I'll just go over it just a tiny little bit, just rub it in over my face. And one thing I really like about this is it doesn't, I mean, though it has it has this white soft it doesn't leave any like white residue in your face. So that's one reason why I love this Morad or in pore control that's fire. So once this is done, I'm going to stamp side about my brows now. <laughs> so there is a random eye pencil I got when I was in Nigeria and this sells for just 100 naira. You could even get for 15 some places. So I like my brows really light and not so obvious. So I'm just trying to keep it that way. So this pencil is in the color 13 if you're wondering. going to conceal it quickly so I like keeping my brows really simple and not so obvious as I said earlier so I'm going over with my one of my favorite concealers guys I just reckon it's here I love concealer so this concealer is this is the camo 16 hour camo concealer ELF so I'm gonna use this for my brows So one thing I make sure I do when I conceal my brows is just to make sure I just follow the lines so my brows don't come out bad. So that's what I'm trying to make sure I do here, just follow the lines. Take a little bit, a bit. So, like 
it's available on my Dear Lung C eyeshadow palette. So guys, we will be looking at this color, this one here, then um, this, this two colors over here. eyeshadow is really really pigmented and that's one reason why I had to get it because I've read so many reviews about it and one thing that really stood out is the fact that everybody just kept saying this eyeshadow is really really pigmented so you can see so I'm just going over with my crease Make sure you blend everything in so everything will look all flawless. from absolute eyeliner just go over here and that's it So guys, next thing I'm going to go over my eyes is this, this Smashbox Always On Gel Liner and um, this is so so pigmented. One thing you will notice about all my makeup is I love getting products that you know, once you just go in over it's just one scratch, you're going to see how overly pigmented this is. So I'll use this for under my eyes to give it that defined eye look. I could also use it to fill in my eyes because I can see there's some places that I didn't really fill up well. So guys, next thing I'm going over, I'm going over with now is my 
foundation. So this is the NYX professional makeup can't stop most of foundation. There's one this is my perfect shade. Like when I went to the store to try, like I tried various shades, but this one fits in perfectly. Like you would you wouldn't even know that I'm putting on a foundation. So this is like my go-to for brown skin girls like me. So I'll just go over a little bit and I'll be using my Sephora foundation brush. Blending in your foundation, it helps to make sure every single thing sits in like you know, in covered spots where we will end up looking like a scarecrow. to blend everything in mm -hmm. Let's see. So one thing you should make sure is make sure everything is blended in well. This is my Zaron piece, this different that's so I'm gonna use it to put it in my eye. This. I'm using my contour powder for my cheek to want to be that defined cheeks. This is the Edis Iman, yeah. 
I've had this for like over how many years now? Let's say two years and this still serves me.